This is B5 and we're looking at the human nervous system. On this picture you can see on the left there is a cross section through the spine. This is the central nervous system. There's no brain involvement in the reflex arc. It is automatic and involuntary. The only part on, not on this diagram is the stimulus. This is what the body is going to be responding to. It could be um, something sharp, something hot, something bright, like a bright light. Um, and receiving the information, if you think receiving receptors, okay, they're quite similar, so that's helping us remember it. That's going to be the skin, it could be the eye, it could be the tongue. Any of those things that link to the senses are our receptors. Then we've got three neurons. We start with the sensory neuron, and we remember it because we just sensed some information. Uh, and then that goes to the central nervous system. And across the central nervous system, we've got a really short neuron. This one is the relay neuron, completely housed within the central nervous system, within that spinal cord. And we remember this because it's like the baton in a relay race, passing the information from the sensory to the third neuron, which is the motor neuron. And we can remember the motor neuron because motors turn and have a movement, and the motor neuron is going to cause the muscles to contract in the arm to pull you away from whatever danger the stimulus is. So the motor neuron, the relay neuron and the sensory neuron all have electrical impulses flowing through them. Um, this moves the information from uh, one end of the neuron to the other. And it's important to say here as well that the effect doesn't have to just be a muscle contracting. It could be a gland releasing a hormone. There are no other effectors um, that you need to know about. It is just the muscle contracting or a gland releasing a hormone. So we can remember this as a summary as SR, SR, ME. Hopefully that's something you can remember. And we go stimulus, receptor, sensory neuron, relay neuron, which is in the central nervous system, motor neuron and effector. The effector brings about a response and the response is to get you away from that stimulus, to get you away from the danger. And you can see on here we've got synapses um, between the neurons. Let's look at a picture of a synapse. Here it is. Now, definition of a synapse for two marks would be the gap between two neurons. Okay, it's the gap, one mark, and then the second mark between the two neurons. Where one neuron ends, another one begins. Now, even though we know that electricity can jump, it actually can't jump across this tiny gap. So what happens instead is the, way the electrical impulse gets to one end of the neuron and then some chemicals, which you can remember as chemicals, but we like to call them neurotransmitters, are released. They diffuse across the synapse, across the gap, and then when they reach the other neuron across the synapse, the electrical impulse continues. Now the result that this has is it actually slows down the whole process because that diffusion is a lot slower than an, ele an electrical impulse can be. So it will actually make the, um, the more synapses you have, the slower the reflex will be. Extra information. Said it's involuntary and automatic. Um, there's another signal going to the brain um, that is a longer signal. It takes longer for this response. And that's why we feel the pain after. Okay, so we get away from the danger and then we feel the pain because that signal to the brain which makes us acknowledge the pain is a lot longer. Uh, we have diffusion of the neurotransmitter at the synapses. We said already that that causes a delay in the transmission. Um, we've also said that the effect may be a muscle or a gland. And they may ask you to bring in some maths, they may ask you to calculate the speed of a reflex if they know the time of the reflex and also the, the length of the neurons. And then the question may follow, why was it um, slower than expected? And that's where we link into the synapses. Hope you found that useful. Thank you.